Now we're going to look at finding parallel sections in a combination resistor circuit. And by combination, I mean that you've got sections which are series and sections which are parallel within the same circuit. And just like the series sections, looking at the junctions is really going to help us here. In this case, though, I want to actually use some different colors to identify each junction. So I'm going to call this one the red junction. I'm going to call this one a green junction. OK, it flipped the colors on me. Um, I'm going to call this one a blue junction. And then for my last one, I'm going to make it an orange junction. Now when you do this, what you realize is that at any point in the circuit, in order for it to be in parallel, it splits from the junction and then goes to another junction. And there shouldn't be any other resistors along that path from junction to junction. And in this case, the green to red and the green to red around the other path shows us that those do indeed have the same potentials on each side. And in parallel, it has to be the same difference in potential, otherwise called the voltage, across both sets of resistors. So this resistor and this resistor are in parallel. And in this circuit, they look like they're in parallel. In some other circuits, including one of the complex ones that I haven't shown as an example, it's not so obvious, but if you color code your sections here, you can see that the green to the red is one parallel section. In this case, the red to the orange is another parallel section. Even though this resistor is geometrically in, it's the orange to green path, and so that's definitely not in parallel with those ones. I've got another circuit down here. And again, we can take a look at the individual junctions. And I'm going to again try to use some different colors here. So here is a, a red junction. Here's a green junction. Here's a blue junction. And then my last one, I'm going to make it a purple junction. Now, we have to be careful on this. Some of them are more easily, like this green to blue. Those two definitely are in parallel because they both follow a path that's going to go from the green junction to the blue junction. And while there's something in parallel about this branch and this branch that goes from red to purple and red to purple, it's not a single resistor along each path. So we would have to simplify some things here and simplify some things down here before we're able to treat this as a parallel path with this one. I definitely can't treat this R2, R4, and R5 in parallel because this one is going from a red to a, I haven't given it a color yet, but a different potential in between here. It's definitely not the same potential between these two points. So those ones are not in parallel because they don't share the same ending junction. If you have questions, let me know.